Hello friend welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video we will be taking a look at how you can transfer files wirelessly between your Android phone and your computer. This method can also be used to transfer files wirelessly between multiple devices. You can also use it to transfer files from your computer to your Android phone as well. Please make sure to watch the video to the end so you can learn all the tricks of this method. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so you can get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Also, don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you. First of all, go to Google Play Store and in the search box, type switch and press enter. Click on the first search result, and click on Install. After the installation is complete, click on Open. This is the interface of the Switch application. To be able to transfer files wirelessly between your Android phone and your computer, you will need to make sure your phone and your computer are connected to the same network. To do this, first connect your phone to a Wi-Fi network. After connecting your phone to a Wi-Fi network, now head over to your PC and connect it to the same Wi-Fi network. After connecting your PC and your phone to the same network, go back to your phone and return to the Switch application. Now click on the play button in the middle of the screen. Click on allow and this will generate a URL with an IP address. Now go to the device on which you want to transfer the files to. Let me quickly switch to my computer. On your computer, open your favorite web browser and type the URL shown on the Switch application. Also, make sure to type it just the way it is displayed in the app. After typing the URL into the address bar, press Enter. This will then load a screen where you can transfer your files and folders. On the File Browser tab, you will see a lot of options. The Internal Storage button allows you to browse and transfer files and folders from your internal storage to your computer or from your computer to your internal storage. The System button displays your system files. The SD card button also allows you to browse and transfer files and folders from your SD card to your computer or from your computer to your SD card. The Images tab displays all the images on your device. The Videos tab also displays all the videos on both your internal storage and your SD card. The Music tab displays all the audio files on your device. The Documents tab shows all the documents available on your Android phone. The Apps tab also lists all the applications on your Android phone which you can transfer. The Clipboard tab allows you to see and edit the text copied to the clipboard of your Android device. Now. To transfer files from your Android phone to your computer, click on File Browser. And click on Internal Storage or SD Card, then navigate to the file you want to transfer. The file I want to transfer to my PC is in this Docs folder. These are the files in my Docs folder. Now click on the file you want to transfer to your PC. If your file is a media file such as videos, pictures, or audio files, then it will be opened in your web browser, and you can download it by clicking on the download button here. You can see the file has been downloaded to my computer. Now let me transfer a video file. Video files will also be opened in your web browser, and you can download them by clicking on the download button. It will take some time for your files to be downloaded to your computer, depending on the size of the file, but no need to worry, this is not using your Wi-Fi or mobile data. The file has been downloaded to my computer, and it will be saved to my downloads folder. 
Now, any file apart from media files will be downloaded directly to your computer. For example, if I click on this PDF you will notice that it has been downloaded directly to my computer. Let's take a quick look at these buttons at the top. The icon with the two check marks allow you to select all the files and folders in the current location. The folder icon allows you to create a new folder in the current location. Now, let me show you how you can transfer an entire folder from your phone to your PC. To transfer an entire folder, first navigate to the location of the folder. Now, click on the folder icon next to the folder you want to transfer, and this will select the folder. After the folder is selected, click on the download button, and your folder will be downloaded as a zipped file. After my download is complete and I click on the zipped file, you can see there is a folder inside the zipped file named docs, which is the folder I have transferred. You can also click on the folder or file icons near a file or a folder in order to select and transfer multiple files from your phone to your PC. Now, to transfer any file from your computer to your phone, click on file browser and navigate to the location you want to transfer the files to. To transfer a file, you can either click on the blue upload button and select the file you want to transfer, or you can simply drag and drop the file you want to transfer to the Switch application. You can transfer a file to your internal storage without any problems. But in order to transfer files to your SD card, you will need to grant the Switch application write access for it to be able to write to your SD card. To do this, go to the Switch application on your phone and click on the settings icon. Now, click on Enable External SD Card Write Access. Click on OK and navigate to the folder you want to grant access to. Click on Select in order to grant access to this particular folder. Or you can also grant access to your entire SD card. To grant access to your entire SD card, click on the three lines and click on SD Card. Click on Select and go back to your PC. Refresh the browser and try uploading your file again. Click on the upload button, or you can drag and drop your file. Now, wait for your file to be transferred to your phone. You can see, the file has been transferred to my phone successfully. With Switch, you can also transfer clipboard texts from your Android phone to your PC, and also from your PC to your Android phone. Let me show you how this works. Click on the clipboard button. Over here, you will see all the texts that have been copied to the clipboard of your Android phone. For now, I don't have any text copied to my clipboard, so it's empty. Let me go to my Android device and copy some texts. Let me select and copy this text to my clipboard. Now, if I go back to my PC and click on clipboard, you will see the text that I have copied from my Android phone. Over here, you can see the text that I have copied, which says, please like this video. You can copy the text from here to the clipboard of your PC, or you can edit the copied text from here. To replace or add a text to the clipboard of your Android phone, click on the text area below and type the text you want to send to your phone's clipboard.
After typing the text, click on the clipboard icon to send the text to your phone's clipboard. This is the new text that will be on my phone's clipboard. Now, if I paste the text on the clipboard of my Android phone, you can see it changes to the text that I type from my PC. So, if I type any text, and click on the clipboard button, the text on my Android phone's clipboard will be changed to the one I type from my PC. The app section also allows you to transfer apps from your phone to your PC, or from your Android phone to another Android phone. To do this, click on the apps button. This will list all the applications installed on your Android device, including system applications. You can transfer any application by clicking on the application you want to transfer. This will download the application to the Downloads folder of your computer. To transfer any file or application to another Android phone, just type the URL displayed on the Switch application in the browser of the second Android phone. You can see all the files I have transferred are in the Downloads folder on my computer. If you want to transfer the file to someone else, you might not want the person to see the contents of your phone. So, in order to share any file without the person viewing the Switch interface, just head over to the Switch application on your Android phone. Click on the Share button. Now, navigate to the location of the file or application you want to share. Click on the application, or long press on the file that you want to share. Click on the Send button, and type the URL that is displayed into the web browser of the phone or PC that you want to transfer the file to. And the file will be downloaded automatically. So, that is how you transfer any file wirelessly between your Android phone and your computer. With this, you can transfer files between multiple devices as well. Thanks for watching. Please, make sure to drop a like, and also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on the bell icon so you can get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thank you.